Pastor Queen from Liberia, and I'm here to be the MC for the audition of the Big Sister Empowerment Television Show. Let's go. Sierra Leone season two. No woman, no cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. So your name is Fibian? Yes. Fibian what? Fibian Mani. Fibian Mali? Mani, Mani. Mani. Huh? Fibian, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, my name is Fibian. Fibian Mani. But my friends call me Sugar Fifi. I was oh. born in... <laughs> Why should I feel it before we move on? Should I tell us? <laughs> because they think I'm that kind of person, like I'm always good, kind of sweet. So they always call me sugar. I think that's okay. why I got the name. That's are you a friendly person? Yes, I am. Okay, so are your friends outside today waiting they for are. you? Yes, they are. Are they having a banner and all of that no, stuff? No, not really, because they think it's not the right time. So oh, okay. they said we should not do it for now. So what do you think of the people that have the banners and all of that stuff? Well, I don't know. It's their own idea. Maybe they are confident enough. You might, you don't know. Maybe if you come here, you might not go into the house. So you can't make it. So that's why I didn't make my own banner. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I happen to make it, then there we go. Okay. Yeah. What do you have here? Abias. Aha, uh -huh, let's talk about that. <laughs> You have beer. You're a woman with beer. Beer is not a problem. So why? Eh? Okay. <laughs> and you are in love. Okay. <laughs> so why? So why? So why you get beer? Beer? Why you not shave them? Actually, I don't shave them, but the more they pull them, I saw in the cam. Yes. So you rather leave them? Exactly. I can pull them, I can shave. Them. Why? I don't know, like, like you say, any woman will get beer, beer, it kind of gets stronger. <laughs> that's a stereotype, that's so true. So you think that you get stronger? Not really. Okay. Okay. You're very nice, somebody. You're very soft. So they're lying. So, don't so you can, do, so don't worry about them. I don't know about okay. you, but yeah. for me, I think what my mom told me was a woman that has, like, beer is considered very strong. Yeah, yeah, you get strong hearts. Like you're like I mean. no, 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 not like the heart strong, like as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're very strong, like you're a yeah. very strong person. No, thank you. Yeah, very strong person. You normally say you get strong hearts if you no. feel by something. Yeah. Strong heart cannot be negative, yeah. it can be and positive. positive. <coughs> it's like you put because your mind to something and you do yeah. it. I don't know if and most strong women you find, they do have strong hearts. I have a So it's because of how is it off now? No, but most women you find that are strong, most they do women, have strong yeah. hearts. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, you have to Actually, be like, I think you know, it's a compliment. It's not it's something that is bad. If somebody says it to you, don't look at it as a negative. Look at it as a positive. And don't look at the angle the person is talking. Look at the angle that you know it to be. Okay. Yeah, anyway, Thank that's you. all. So what do you want to achieve from the, the show? The There's a lot. I want to achieve a Many lot. Many things. Yeah. yeah. What, name two of them. Like if I happen to make it to the Big Sister show, mm -hmm. I want to use this platform mm -hmm. to give out to the less privileged and to let people know you can pe come wherever you feel like becoming. Like you just mm -hmm. have to keep on the faith. Don't mm -hmm. give up. Just like she's saying now, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to be yourself. That's it. Don't listen to what people say. Just yeah. believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. What would you do with the money? Huh? What would you do with the money? I have a lot of things to do with the money. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of two things. Well, actually, I would like to open, like, I like doing hair. So mm -hmm. I wish to open a saloon, mm -hmm. orphanage, um, build school for the less privileged. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of things to do with it. Okay, okay so Fabian, yeah. can you choose a topic there, or you can write a new topic that you feel we have to discuss in the house, on the board? So you can choose yeah. any topic from there, or you can write your own topic, something you feel like we have to talk about. So the marker is there, and the board is there. So take the marker. You can choose any topic from there and write it on the board, or you can choose a new topic and write it on the board. You decide. Should I write it up? Yes, write anywhere. Up or down, anywhere. Anywhere Just use the want. space that is available. Why abortion? 
because it's a bad thing. You think abortion is bad? Yeah, it's very bad. Why? But because you might lose your life at the point. So there is, no, there is no point in doing abortion. If you know you don't want to get pregnant, don't go for men. Or you abstain. Wow. Like by taking, like going for this, like PPA, something like that. That is it. Prevent. Prevention. Yeah, just to prevent yourself. But I think if you are not yet ready for such things, you should not go closer to men. Okay. You should go close to women. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you should just stay by yourself. So um, just um, two more last questions. The director is just shouting now. Um, where do you work at the moment? I'm a student. And where do you study? FBC. OK, what year? Second year. My last question. Um, when you have beard, when sometimes it comes into dating process, do you have problems? Do men really complain about you having beard? No. That's not an issue. They don't care at all, no, right? No. Okay. Thank you. That's I think all. People find it sexy. Thank you. So we're going to vote now. So we're going to vote now. Um, okay. <laughs> somebody should start voting, I beg. I'm in um, So I'm going to say yes because, and there's one reason why I'm going to say yes because um, I think that you have a lot of inner confidence. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I thank think you. despite the things that people might say, you have cut, you still come in despite those barriers and those challenges and you're you're willing to make yourself visible. Thank you. In front of everybody, in front of millions of people and I think that takes a lot of courage um, and that's a quality I think that you can develop and empower yourself with, okay? So yeah. you obviously respect yourself um, and I think that's a good example to set to others. Thank so you I'm very saying, much. Yeah. Tamara, I mean, if I should do this, then I do. Who? I mean, I okay. Okay, so. <laughs> where, where are we balancing this thing now? <laughs> so, um, okay. You always go, it's a yes for me. Thank yeah, because you very as much. you said, you said that, that you used to shave this off because <laughs> you were scared and you knew this was going to be on live TV, but you still had it and come yeah. in front of us. So that's. It took a lot of confidence mm -hmm. and self-esteem to do that, though that's why I'm going to say yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well done. I am honestly also saying yes, because significantly, this is something that makes women shy about themselves, and people have said this, and you come here to audition, and you could bring your best self here today, but you bring your ordinary self, and um, yeah. yeah, I think you should be yourself. Thank I you. like that about you, so I'm saying yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I love what you represent. You yeah, really confidence is what you represent. Yeah, confidence is what she represents. Self respect. And I feel like we need women, we need all kinds of women in the house because yeah. representation matters. Because there might be a girl out there that might be, you know, doubting or having self esteem issues because they, <laughs> you know, and they look at you and be like, oh my gosh, she's not even sure. She's like so strong and she, like nothing is phasing her. Like, you know? So yeah, it's a yes for me. For Thank that. you. For that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sweetheart. Potential, but you're nervous right now, and a lot is hidden. So probably if they call you back, if they call you into the house, maybe so you have a lot to show. This five yeah. yeses means we might consider you, we might call you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very okay, much. Okay. Thank you. This way. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Bian. Mm. Big Sisters, Sierra Leone, Season 2, No Woman, No Cry, proudly sponsored by Orange. How are you? I'm okay. I have met you before at Miss Sierra Leone Audition, right? Is it you? No, no. If people want to, you can hear me. How are you? Yeah. I'm the first in fashion and show you the training us at um, Tourism. That was when you... Okay, that's why I met oh. you. That's the fashion runway thing. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm okay. What's your name? Marion. Marion. What's your last name? Tell us why do you want to be in the Big Sister show? Okay. First of all, I will say because of purpose, passion, and then lifestyle stock, legacy. Because um, going through all over the last season edition, I make to understand that um, there's a particular thing that we should work on as a woman. We should stand up for ourselves. We should learn to take responsibility. And one thing I, I also understand is that um, the, the area of passion, 
We should not limit ourselves in anything we find ourselves to do. We should always work towards our dreams, our focus, and our passion, that, that which we want to do in life. In the area of lifestyle and legacy, I've come to understand that um, you do not only do the show because of, life, because of the way of life. During the last season, in, during the last season of the show, okay, now, you went through a lot of things and so many people are saying a lot of things and after that show, all the saga and everything, you decided to move on, you decided to push forward in order to make this thing much more bigger and much more. I also understand is that um, the, the area of passion, we should not limit ourselves in anything we find ourselves to do. We should always work towards our dreams, our focus and our passion, that, that which we want to do in life. In the area of lifestyle and legacy, I've come to understand that um, you do not only do this show because of life, because of the way of life. It's about diamonds and diamonds. People are saying a lot of things, and people are saying of, and our passion, that, that which we want to do in life, and do in life. In the area of lifestyle and legacy, I've come to understand that um, you do not only do this show because of life, because of the way of life. During the last season. In, during the last season of the show, okay? Now, you went through a lot of things and so many people are saying a lot of things and after that show, all the saga and everything, you decided to move on, you decided to push forward in order to make this thing much more bigger and much more helpful to us in the society. And also, um, in the area of um, the legacy, now you, 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 you want to do something that will make every woman in the nation or the world at large become outstanding. Now, doing this kind of show, you, you're helping others to stand up for themselves, to look that, oh, this is the reason why um, we, women at large should push forward in life. This is the reason why we as women should learn to take responsibility for ourselves in order for us to stand out and be somebody successful in the future. So what's inspired you to come to, to Okay. What has triggered you to come here? Is it the money or is it the plans mm -hmm. you have to make change? Just like I said, to make it change. Yeah. The passion, the purpose mm -hmm. for the show. The show, the, 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 the show is way more bigger than the money. Now, if anybody wins the show, that individual can help somebody else out there mm -hmm. to do something much more bigger than what Zainab is doing right now. So it's not only, only about the money, it's about what you want to impact in the lives of other people out there. I don't know if you remember me, but I do remember you uh -huh. from historic and uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I know we completed. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So I just want to know who Marion is as a person. Okay. I am Marion Kekonte. Twenty seven years old, going on twenty eight. Mm -hmm. And then I work for Q Cell mm -hmm. to the customer service department and then um, I'm a very ambitious younger lady who look forward for the best part to achieve our goal. Mm -hmm. Even my humor is based on perception mm -hmm. and I just to the way I just I just the way I behave mm -hmm. based on the information I have and at the particular time mm -hmm. in order for everybody to be feel comfortable. Okay. Besides you wanting to help make a difference, make a change, what other passion do you have? Passion for agriculture. For agriculture. Yeah, and and I've been working towards it. You've been working I started towards it last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I know you, I know you're a model. Do you still model? Yeah, before. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so what did you start agriculture? What did you start? Last year. What's the what, that's what are you doing? What are you doing? What? what? Agriculture what are you? I don't get you clear. You said you have a passion for agriculture and you started. Yeah, I started thing. last year with granite. Okay, so you're planning. Yeah, to last year it was successful, and this year I intended to go for more, something much more bigger than last year. Okay, so apart from working at Chisel, doing your granite plantation, what do you do like in your free time? What do you do for fun? What do I do? For fun. For fun. <laughs> I normally go out, take stroll to the beach, but I'm not a clubbing type that much. I don't, I don't go to club. Yeah. Who was your favorite housemate the last time, from the last season? Okay, China Nikki. Why China Nikki? Her confidence, her passion, 
That was what makes me. Okay. And also, you work at QSL. <laughs> yeah, are you covering orange on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not on purpose. Just because I don't have somewhere to. Also, wear. you also know you can or cannot wear the orange. It's not by force. Uh, yes. They told you. No, the guy out there told us if we have presentation to do, we can. You have to wear your yeah. orange to come in. Actually, yeah. it's not by force. I'm just saying that because I know you work for another telecommunication. Oh, okay. And also, um, agriculture. You're doing agriculture, so you have a farm. Yes. Is it a farm or a garden? Farm. You have a farm. How big is it? Close to eight town last year. Eight town lot. Yeah. You have a. Are you serious? Where do you get that from? Last year, Makini. Okay. Is it your plot or is someone else's no, plot? They let you do your stuff on it. Yes. Or your aunt lets you do your agricultural stuff on it. Yeah. Okay. You know, in Big Sisters, is into we're promoting agriculture major. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Anyways, that's it for me. Um, when you become the winner, you're saying, right? Okay. okay. Wow, <laughs> that's a great question. I intend to. <laughs> <laughs> I intend them to fast forward my agriculture project because that's it will not limit it to that because I intend to go in for um, homemade stuff like branding them, not only granite, the likes of hot pepper, cayenne nice. pepper, different kinds of um, yeah. beni, kinder, and all of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like many. Yes. In agriculture. Exactly. Okay. I love that. Okay. So um, we're going to take a vote now, Marion K. Conte. I really like that you have interest in agriculture because even when we're doing the promotion of the show, we've been talking about agriculture a lot because agriculture is a big thing that can empower a lot of women in Sierra Leone, but not everybody's focusing on it. Everybody's talking about diamonds and diamonds, but agriculture is there and it's for everybody and it's untapped. Yeah. So I like that you're young and you're intelligent, you're smart enough to look for a sector that is untapped mm -hmm. and go into that because trust me, you can make a lot of money in that. So I really okay. wish you good luck in the show. Okay. But for me, I'm definitely going to say yes to you because I would really like for you to maybe make it into the show and invest more in agriculture so you can inspire other girls to turn to okay. agriculture, yeah? So I'm saying yes. Good luck with your okay. judges. Um, I really like you as well, um, and um, I like your personality. You're, you're not too overpowering. Um, I think you're a bit. You come across as a bit shy, um, so I think you need to improve your self-confidence a bit. Yeah. You know, I do as well sometimes as well, but I think you just need to raise your voice a bit when you're speaking. But you have a really good skill or a really good passion in agriculture, and like Zaina says, it really needs to be promoted. Um, maybe you can transfer those ideas um, through this. Platform which is empowering other women. So I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Right, I'm going to say yes as well. Because of the Thank you. Um, one thing, the agricultural aspect of it. Because I feel like in a society like ours, there's a lot of stigmatization that is attached to people that are farmers. People consider them poor, uneducated, people. You know, there's this thing that people think that if you're in like your farmer or something, you're just down there. And okay. we need to change that face. And for you to come in here and present that, I feel that you can be that face that will turn that story around. So it is a yes for me. Thank you. As well, and that, like um, Emily said, you just need to be more confident in your presentation. And you're going to, if you are selected to go into the house, okay. there are so many other girls that are very outspoken and confident. So you need to be able to outshine them, especially with such a great, um, you know, uh, platform that you have in agriculture. You know, so in you should be able to convince people, you know, as to why they should choose you for whatever it is and why you think you're in that position. Because you can employ so many other women to work on the farms and everything, but you need to convince people about it. It's just that we all actually see where you're going. That's why we are saying yes to you. Thank but you. try and be more confident and outspoken. All right. So yes for me too. Thank and you. I'm all for confidence, so I need you to like build up more confidence. Yeah, you, okay. you already know what you want. You are, you are driven. You already know where you want to go, how you want to achieve, what you want to achieve, how you want. You, you even know where you want to use your money exactly, for. Exactly. Yeah. Like you want to invest in agriculture, which is a good thing. So just build up more confidence. Yeah. You're also a beauty queen, so you exactly. need to know you you need confidence. So build build up more. Yeah. Thank you very so much. So five years is means we might consider you or we might call you. All yeah. right. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right.
Big Sister, Sierra Leone, Season 2, No Woman, No Cry, proudly sponsored by Orange. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. What's your name? Jean Bangura. Jean Bangura. Jean Bangura, where are you from in Sierra Leone? Mauritan community, western part of it. Okay. Tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Jean Angela Bangua, 25 years old, Sierra Leone and talented lady. I'm a feminine by tribe, a Christian by religion. Jean Bangua attended the CIMAT College where I studied mass communication and diploma. I am an upcoming fashion designer, a love coach, a motivational speaker, also an upcoming musician. Jimbangua is friendly, a mixer, accommodating, initiative, and more. Jimbangua, you have a lot of upcoming things, eh? Yeah. And when you talk, you don't look at the eyes. Why? <laughs> You're looking away. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. But when you talk to people, it's good to look into their eyes so you can convince them. So okay. you can actually attract them. When you look away, you lost me. Yeah. All right. Um, did you say you're a motivational speaker? Yes. Okay. So what what do you tell people to motivate them? Um, that they should be self-disciplined. They should believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to display today. I don't want to sing or dance. I just want to give a motivational speech to you guys. So how do you inspire these people? What examples do you give them in order to help them motivate themselves? Well, I tried my best because I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I love to help people with their emotions mm -hmm. and um, especially women mm -hmm. in terms of love, life, friendship, that they should trust themselves, trust the process, believe in themselves, especially the plus size women because they should be proud of themselves for the way they are. Um, for me, the size is not the matter. It's about the personality and the capability. So I inspire them. So. Yeah. A love coach. Yeah. Why do you have that? You didn't have that. Mm. 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 Yeah. But the, I know you're not perfect. You said you're not perfect. But yeah, sure. I sense a lot of like uh, self-esteem issues because when somebody is talking and they constantly go this way, it's like they're not sure of what they're saying. Probably, I don't know, but I'm just saying. So how can you be a love coach and a motivational speaker and then stand there on show? Because motivational speakers are supposed to represent what they talk about. Yeah, sometimes I tell people that maybe it's the upbringing mm -hmm. because my late grandma, mm -hmm. Mia Suarez in Peace, mm -hmm. trained me up at, normally when I talk to people, she always say, do not look too deep in people's eyes. But I tried my best. Normally, um, lately, I started this love coach business mm -hmm. And I have a Facebook page that I call Meditation with Jane. Okay. So people call me mm. for advice mm. and I give them some of my experience mm. in life about relationship. And I always get a positive response, okay. results from them. Okay. So earlier you said you, you were going to do a motivational motivation speech. All right. Okay. Thank you. Instead of saying, I don't know how to do it, say, I'm committed to learn how to do it. Instead of saying, I'm a failure, say, I failed. I've learned the lessons. And when I, that failure becomes a success, it's going to make a story. Instead of saying, my best days are behind me, say, my best is yet to come. Every day, look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a kind person. I'm strong, capable of anything, determined and committed. I have no limits. Speak positive things into your life. Speak love and happiness into your life. And you will notice more love and happiness into your life. I'm such a positive influence to those around me. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but your words may shatter your dreams. Your beliefs, thoughts, and words will determine your destiny. Whatever you believe is your limit, is your limit. You are born an original, so do not that as a copy. Wow, wow. Do you see what happened here when she was actually given the 
Yes. He can now look at you. All of God. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. You are a natural. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. When it was time for you to give your motivational speech, this little woman comes out <coughs> and you're looking at all of us and making your point. Yeah. So keep that attitude. All keep that time. attitude. You are natural. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. like, like, I know like in African, as, or as African women or Africans, um, they taught us that when you look someone in the eyes, like it's disrespect. It's, 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 it's not, not true. disrespectful. It's, you're actually trying to pass a message to them. Like you look them like I'm talking to you. So it's not disrespectful. You're not disrespecting them. Anybody. Who it shows them one who said they did, that. Even yeah, me. They said the same thing to me. Maybe it's a reunion thing. Me, for me, I grow up with my mom always hitting me in the face. It's a put your eye down. You have great communication skills. Without the eyes. It is something. My mom was always hitting me in the face. She looked like, no look me at me. Yeah, no look at me. Yeah, it's rude. It is. It's very moonful. I know people don't do that again. No, they should stop. Great communication skills. They watch what's in the eyes, so you're not fine. They always instill that to you, so you get like... But if you're just looking at them and passing on a message, it's not disrespectful. Exactly. So if you did good. What is your plan? What do you intend to do with the money when you win? Well, firstly, as a Christian, I'll go to church, mm -hmm. give an op offering to thank God for taking me that far mm -hmm. and uh, making it possible for me to emerge as the winner. Mm -hmm. Then I'll try to open like a center mm -hmm. where I'll create opportunity for young women mm -hmm. and girls to acquire skills work like tailoring, catering, painting, and vis visit schools, talk to the girls about self-discipline, and contribute to nation building and um, I can't lie I'll give some to my mom because she's my role model she's everything so I can't pay her back but for everything I'll give her some then invest in my fashion line and try to open like um, a place where I can expand this my motivation and love coach session how old are you again 25 oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be a lion because a lion is strong. Mm -hmm. A lion has that thing I call a spirit of leadership attitude. Mm -hmm. A leader has that attitude that makes him or her different from his followers. So I'll be a lion. Okay. So we're <laughs> going to take a vote now, mm -hmm. Jane. Um, I am going to take my vote. But before I do, I want to say, just like Juliet was saying, our Syrian parents, whoever is looking out there, they need to know to stop telling their children to stop looking at people in the eyes. Because it builds confidence. Mm -hmm. Me, if you're talking to me, you're not looking at me in my eyes, I'll assume you're lying. Yeah. But when I was young, they told me not to look at my elders in the eyes when I'm talking to them in disrespect. In Europe, I learned that that was not true. It's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. But our parents, at a point, sometimes they can be ignorant as well. So it's also education is for everybody, even our parents. So I think today you've learned that when you look at, into people's eyes, you can actually convince them. You can get them to believe what you're saying. Because when you came in, you were talking. I was like, who is this? You want to be a motivational speaker. You cannot even look at me in the eyes. Yeah, exactly. That's what but I when you started to give your motivational speech, you were not looking at me in the eyes. And I was believing that this woman, yes, yeah, she is. She can do it. It's only when you look at me in your eyes, that's when I believe in you. So I'm going to say yes to you. Because you. I think you're actually a go-getter and a motivational speaker that you say you are, you are that actually, it's inside of you. And mm -hmm. I want you to look into that and actually bring more of that out, yeah? Okay, Good luck with you. the rest of the judges. Okay, thank you. So, um, yeah, so when you, I was quite confused when you came into the room. I wasn't quite sure how to define you. Um, you know, I wasn't sure whether you kind of, like you do love potions or something, or you know, just you know, making people feel better by speaking to them or tell, you know, telling us that you do. And then you weren't looking at us in the eye um, or anything like that. So I wasn't sure that you were prepared. But then as soon as we asked you to do a motivational speech, yeah. then everything just changed for me. Mm -hmm. um, I still wasn't sure either because I couldn't hear everything you were saying. Um, but then when you described the analogy about comparing yourself to a lion, um, I thought maybe there's a future politician here. <laughs> and so that was inspiring for me. So thank you. You just need to work on okay. people and keep that eye contact going. So it's yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, for me, when you walked in, I was definitely going to say no. 
But when you started giving your motivational speech, you become a totally different person. And that's the person I want to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th that's the person that I w I'm taking a chance on. That's the person I'm saying yes to. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm saying yes to you because you are very confident. Even though you're not looking at us, you are still talking and you're still, you know what you're about. And um, I like the fact that you want to invest in yourself and, you know, really do this, um, you know, motivational speaking and, I feel like it's very important in society because so many people have so much they're going through, they don't have people to talk to. So even if it's on social media that you're doing it, and at your age, to start some, something this huge is very, very good and it's inspiring. So just keep it up and um, I okay. wish you all the best. Thank you. Well, it's a yes for me too. Thank and you. Because like, I feel like you know where you're at and what you want to achieve and you're someone who listens. You know why? Because now you're looking us in the yes. eyes. Yes. You've listened and you've learned. So yes. it's a yes for me. Thank you so Which much. Which means we might consider you or we might call you. Okay, yeah? thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Big Sisters here in Leon, Season 2. No Woman, No Cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. For vote your favorite contestant into the Big Sister Season 2 house, Orange don't make it simple for you. And don't come with the bulk SMS voting system. All you get for do, dial star 2020 ash. It will provide you with many options. Choose one of the options, any of the options in fact, and send the number of your favorite contestant. But remember, oh, now three digits you will able to use for vote for your contestants. For example, if your contestant are contestant number one, make sure so when you do vote for them, you dial 001. If not contestant 25, you dial 025. If not contestant 76, you dial 076 and press send. So, remember, not only you vote, you be able to put your favorite into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2. No woman, no cry. For vote your favorite contestant into the Big Sister Season 2 house, Orange don't make it simple for you. And don't come with the bulk SMS voting system. All you get for do, dial star 2020 ash. It will provide you with many options. Choose one of the options, any of the options in fact, and send the number of your favorite contestant. But remember, oh, na three digits you will be able to use for vote for your contestants. For example, if your contestant na contestant number one, make sure so when you do vote for them, you dial 001. If na contestant 25, you dial 025. If na contestant 76, you dial 076 and press send. So, remember, oh, not only you vote, you will be able to put your favorite into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2. No woman, no cry. Leon season two. No woman, no cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. Hey, hello. 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 Speak up a bit. Louder. Louder. This is a married fan. The queen was married to Christian on their Facebook. Mm. So I do with him in Bia Anne. Okay. And this, this is a couple. Use this thread. Okay. To do her. We okay, get bedroom. This is a dumb man. Yeah. We get bedroom. Yeah. Then this is a post. Now you need them there as well. Yeah. I like the colors. With this, if you like, I will give you. Wow. Huh? I will give yeah. You. yeah, you want to give it to me? Oh, of thank course. you so much. I really like the way you select the colors. Green and pink is really good. We we'll use this here too. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And this is best spread. I will tell you. You are distracting. Your hair is distracting you. Okay. No, no, my is not a shoe small. No, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> this is our best spread. Now Can this... you make this? Uh... Yes. Ma. Now this thread do they use? Okay. And we use needle. Okay. This needle now they use to the back. Okay. Then this. 
respect. Okay. Let me show you the pillar. And the pillar are this. We they put her under. We yeah. get tie with the tie, huh? Okay. Now the new do now the pass. Now they get this design. Okay. Great, great. And the best, forget. Wow. It looks really nice mm. and creative. And I like the way she chose the colors. Mm. They're very good. Can you turn your number on you, please? Number. Yes, thank you. Okay. 16. So tell us, what do you want with the show? Well, I want to empower myself. I know it is. I will empower my young girls who think everything is done for them. Your younger ones? Yes. Those who think it's... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Talk to you. Talk to you. To speak louder. Okay, with this one, I know say if you allow me for Kaiser house, I will be able to empower myself. With this, I will be able to advocate the other and the way they're in the streets. Mm. Then take us say all things don't be without education, then are nothing. Becoming a school learner. So uh, before I go to school, I can also be able to do nothing. So I tell my auntie, say, because I'm my auntie, I did too. I tell my auntie, say, I'm going to learn something. It will, it will be beneficial for me. So now you put me in this vocation, a woman vocation in the center. So when you say you're slow learner, is it mean when you're at school, you know they will pick up quick like the other school picking there? Yes, no. so I mean they screen myself. So I decide for good do this. So you go into vocational training school yes, and this is working for you? Yes, ma. Okay. What's your name again? Mabin Tisila. Mabin Tisila. So yes. for, um, how, how far you stop with your education? S1. SS1, that's from four? Yes. Who school you will go? I go services, monitor school. So now na this you do and they yes. sell. Who say you go now this vocation as well? Now women vocation training center na um. Okay, it's okay. What's your name again? I just want to. Mabin Tisila. Mabin Tisila. Okay, that's it for me. Mabin Tisila. Okay, what are the Mabin Tisila? I must see a Mabin Tisila old. Mabin Tisila old twenty six year. Mm okay, what's a Mabin Tisila? Come on, who's partner salon? Well, uh, I mean, I said, because I small me that did die. Mm. So I left school, we stole to me, I'd walk in. My auntie take me, 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 so I go up. up. No, I mean, whose part in a salon you come out? Whose part? Can I mambo? I don't know anything about that. You know, wow, they not tell you? Because I don't go to me play. So you don't know that me? Hey, well, sorry, huh? Oh, okay. Ah, the first day I do no mama to go pull a village. Okay. Wait till now the first day you do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I will go and power myself more because this I don't do that much. I will go and power myself more. With this I will go higher heights. Okay. What inspires you to come here? What's oh. motivated you? The main thing that's motivated you? Is it because I think I say this is not the best platform for me. With this, the world will know me. Not to this, not to salon, not because in a part of that, the world will know me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's, what stopped you now? Is it, is it lack of, uh, you know, no poor income or poverty or your community? What's prevented you from... English, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. English, yeah. What's in the stop you? What's in the stop you? You know, do what you want for do right now. What's in the stop me? What's in the stop you right yeah. now? You say, yeah. what's in you say? You say you need this platform, eh? Yes, ma'am. You come now because you want to use them for making able to use this for empower yourself for the world will know you. Yes, ma'am. What's in the stop you right now? Maybe the world will know you. What's in the stop you? That's his end. I'm not putting them out, so. I know more stop you. Okay. My being here. With the gun boots now, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I want to ask one question, can I? Mabinti, you say you're a slow learner. Um, inside the house, there will be lots of presentation and a lot of learning stuff happening. Do you think you'll be able to catch up quick? Because this is seven weeks and you really need to catch up like now to do presentation. With God, everything is possible. I will do my best. Okay. But also, can you read and write? I can try in the reading. Okay. Because well, you have to do every word I know. More the spellings. You don't know all the spellings. So that means you will not be able to read properly. Yeah. But how would you make it? Because the presentation, it will all be written. You, you, you think this is something you can do? Of course. Okay. 
So I guess we can vote now. The person, if I start this one, I will begin loud. Okay. Um, for me, I feel like she has like a learning disability called dyslexia. I don't know yeah. if I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah. But I feel like these are issues that we don't talk about in Sierra mm -hmm. Leone. We don't mm -hmm. address it. We don't attack it. We just dismiss them mm -hmm. because we don't con because somehow the moment you you're not like the normal kid, people just think, oh, you fool. fool. Then this yeah. they, 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 they dismiss mm -hmm. you. They, they, they think that okay, there's nothing that can be done for. For that person and i feel like her in that house will help raise awareness about that part you know yeah, yeah so probably like we can start focusing on her she can trigger uh people in that i don't know if i'm making sense right yeah, now because i think i like i started reading about it i actually read an article about it but i didn't like focus on it but the moment she walked in and she's told me that i think i recognize that from her yeah and i want her to go into the house because i feel like uh, we need we need her to raise awareness about yeah. those conditions and the yeah. fact that we should not be dismissing people with learning disabilities like yeah that. yeah mm -hmm. i totally agree Okay, um, okay, um, so um, it's a yes for me as well. Um, I, I agree. Um, I think that you need to support. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. You didn't have a tissue. <laughs> you just said two years, you know, even. <laughs> Okay. Shui, do you want me to? Okay. Do you want me to keep speaking? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> you need to calm yourself down, yeah? Mabinti. Just take some deep breaths. Hey, Mabinti, you don't even get three years to eat. I don't even propose to be proud. I don't even propose to be proud. I don't even propose to be proud. No, I don't even propose to be proud. Um, we want to give you, we don't have much time left, so I'm saying yes, okay? okay. I'm, okay. Yeah. Mabinti, I'm saying yes as well, yeah? Thank you. So, um, so basically you have yeses, so we will call you back to see if you make it to the house or not. But this yes does not mean you've made it into the house. It I means we we'll consider. I know that. But as for the learning disorder, you're not stupid. Mm -hmm. You're not a fool. Let nobody not lie by you. Even... I also have a learning disorder. Trust me, I'm going to ask the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, But there are other things that I could do, and I focus my energy on that. Mm. And you're not stupid. It's just we have different learning, different ways of teaching. In Sierra Leone, they focus in one way. So maybe somebody like you will bring it to the table so they can discuss different ways of teaching different people. I think if you've taught differently, you will learn. Maybe you're not meant to go in school and sit in classroom and learn the same way as everybody else. See, I get that in mind. Thank you very much. Yeah? Thank you. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm not going to go to the gym. You didn't come back. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2. No Woman, No Cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. Hi, we get the same year style. Now you take me style and I'm going to take you style. I'm going to take you style. Yeah, it looks so better on you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. So, um, what's your name? Dela Rose. Who? Dela Rose. I have a bad voice. So. Dela Rose. Yes. Dela Rose, what tribe are you? Cool. Cool. Dela Rose, what? Cool. What? Cool. Cool. Dela Why are you here? To audition for Big Sister. What do you want with Big Sister? Big Sister comes with a lot of things. It has a platform, it has the money, it has everything and you know like in a country like Sierra Leone when you have the platform you can do things easier you can empower women easier mm. and I know that with Big Sister it will make a way for me because I am a person that I like advocating for women and children mm. I have a lot of passion when it comes to women and all if the issues affecting them mm. so I'm here because I need the platform mm. to empower more women what does empowerment you keep saying empowerment but you what does the word empowerment you and in general empowerment simply means that uh, when you give someone the ability or power yeah. to do something that have yeah. it's like the taking them through a process like developing their strengths in order for them to showcase their skills make decisions and then know that know their human rights 
That is that is basically empowerment. The general term or to you? What to does it me. mean? Mm. Yeah, to me. To so, I me, mean, that's what it means to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rose, um, can you like select one topic from the projector there, or you can write your own topic, something you feel like we should talk about in the house, or you can choose from there and write it on the board. I can choose from yes. there. Yes, you can choose from there. Or you can give us your own topic, something you feel like we should talk about, something that is not there. So you decide. Wait. There is a marker there, so you can just write it on the board. So come tell us now why we. Why rape? Yes. Because firstly, I think rape is one of the issues affecting women and children. And it is, I am passionate about rape because I've been hearing a lot of cases in which children have, have been raped and there's nothing, and nothing has been done about it. I think there was some time ago in Sierra Leone, a girl was raped and then the perpetrator was given, I think, two weeks or a year in jail, seven prison. So I think Rape is, the rape cases are becoming so alarming in the country and the only way that we need to put a stop to rape is to tell, teach men that what they should know is that consent means yes, it does not mean no, it does not mean maybe, consent does not mean coercing someone to say yes, consent means yes. So I think I, I chose rape because it is affecting a lot of girls in our, in our society and women as well. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay. So just, I'm just going to dig a little bit deeper and test, it can be a bit of a challenging question, um, so I apologise because I don't do this to everybody. Um, so with rape, do you, how do you understand the connection between rape and the problems we have with gender equality in Sierra Leone? And the problems we have with gender equality in Sierra Leone, do you see the connection? Right. There? Firstly, when a woman is being raped. Uh -huh. It's like, I read something some time ago when it says, a person that is raped and a person that is involved in a fatal accident, they're just like the same people. Mm. They're both, they both like gone at the, at, the, at the time. The only thing is that yeah. the person that is involved in a fatal accident mm -hmm. is gone. Like, they're both dead. I mean, the person involved in a fatal is gone. Then mm -hmm. the person that is raped has to live with emotions. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you, you are being raped, that, that is something that it makes you feel the valued. Mm. So you don't want to, you, you think you can't, you can't do things. It makes you, it kills your confidence. Mm -hmm. And it even do so more better when there's nothing done, maybe with the, the perpetrator, because we're always seen as, seen as a victim mm -hmm. and in the first place. So it connects with, I think, to my own opinion, I think it's connected with gender, gender equality in a way that there are a lot of women being raped in our society, going through sexual assault every day, mm -hmm. but they don't say it. People don't know. Mm -hmm. So you having that feeling of, you're feeling less within you. So you, you, you know, you can't stand out. You don't have the voice. You feel, you, you know, you feel down. Anytime you want to take some, a step higher, you don't feel like you can't do it. So I think that is the reason. Okay. So mm -hmm. you wanted to become the winner. What do you want to do with the family? Okay, firstly, if I become the winner of Big Sister, I will pray. But I have a lot of things in my mind that I want to do with the money. First thing, I'm a person that is so passionate about, um, about entertainment. In as much as I am a science student, but I have so much passion for entertainment. So, firstly, I want to do everything entertainment. I am open to everything entertainment. And also, I want to be an advocate for women and children coming up. And I want to invest a lot because I think entrepreneurs are winning. So, I, if I win the money, those are the things I will put my mind to. So, you want to invest in what? Like in everything beauty because I think that is the is the thing selling now. When I talk about beauty, I talk about um, clothes, hair extensions, makeup, and everything that um, entails beauty. Okay. Can I ask you something? Yes. Okay. You're aware. You know what feminism is? Yes. Okay. So what do you think about feminism? And the femi what, what do you think about the feminist movement and how has it helped in empowering the modern woman? Okay, first of all, I would like to say mm. 
I love the, fem the fem feminism movement. I support it mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. I want to see women in higher heights. I want to see them take positions as men. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, feminists, uh, in the initial feminists, they are doing a lot for us because they helped us, mm -hmm. put us through school. Mm -hmm. They made women have voice to speak. Mm -hmm. I will not call myself a, f a feminist because I have my reasons. Because feminism mm. is, is the equality. You don't those reasons? The I reasons why you won't call yourself a I will, feminist? I will tell you. Okay. Feminism is, is like the equal rights of men and women in mm. all private, public and pub, private affairs. Mm. And I can agree that men and women should, be, should have equal rights when it comes to private affairs. Mm public affairs, sorry, mm. but I am a Christian and I will not agree to the fact that they should have right, equal rights when it comes to okay. private affairs. That is, that is the only reason why I will not call myself a feminist, but I support the move. The movement. Yes. Yeah, so what, is, what, is, what was the next question? I said, um, what do you think about feminism and how has it helped in empowering the modern women? It has helped in empowering the modern women in a lot of ways because mm. they are feminists teaching p women, sensitizing them about mm. their rights. What they, what they have to do, what the zeal they, they have to put on to do certain things. Mm -hmm. They have created a lot of, there are a lot of groups, so women groups in the country, mm -hmm. like telling them that they have to have 50 50 mm -hmm. uh, equal rights when it comes to men. Okay. Like, for example, if I am a woman and you're a man, then we have the same um, educational qualifications. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to pay me any lesser than you when you're in the office. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have the same rights, the same payments. So I think mm -hmm. feminism has, has, has helped a lot of women have, the, have, have voices. Sorry if I'm being said that. No, I understand you're nervous. Take your time. I think it's a, it has helped a lot of women mm -hmm. to tell them that they can be, they can do things just as men. Because Thank you very much. We're going to take our votes now. Um, I like that you're outspoken. I'm going to take a chance on you. You have not really convinced me fully yet. But I'm going to take a chance on you and say yes and see what more. We can look at the video and see what can come up, yeah? Right. So for me, I'm just going to say yes. Good luck with the rest of the judges. Thank you. Um, so um, I'm really passionate, so passionate about gender equality. All of us are. Um, I think that you understand the concept of gender equality, which is important because it's very linked to empowerment. It's more or less the same thing. Um, and I just don't know if you know what you want that makes sense from the show. Um, I know you want to empower yourself, but how um, and why um, is the question. But again, like Zana, I'm going to take a chance and say yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree when we say we're taking a chance on you. Because in as much as you are outspoken, I love that and you have confidence and you're trying to talk about things. But I feel like you don't have a sense of direction yet. And probably this show might help you get in that sense of direction, but you like you're all over the place. Like you have these great ideas, but they're not like I don't know how uh, what, what word to you like. You're just all you're just all over. You just want to do everything, beauty, blah 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 blah. Because the one thing about empowerment is you, you cannot just focus on the uh, outside aspect of it and forget the most important person, and that is you. So for you to focus on just who oh, this and just forget about the first thing that you know, because that's what this show is about. It's not just about you trying to make a difference in the world, it's about you trying to make a difference in your life. The show wants to make a difference in your life, okay? So you have to like, probably this show might help you discover that, and so I'm taking a chance and saying yes. So we're all taking chance on you. So I'm going to take a chance, because even though they all see that you're confident, I could tell that you're nervous, like the nerves were coming out, because when mm -hmm. I get nervous, I talk fast. Yeah, well, and, you were going, and you were going too fast, I'm like, oh, the nerves are coming. So, but you were trying so hard to like, put yourself together mm -hmm. and also say what you wanna, want us to know. So, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, she, she still like had that yes. confidence, you know, yes. even with all the nerves. All the so nerves, I could tell. But you need to have a focus and a, a direction of where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just be in everything entertainment, everything beauty, everything nah. So you have to have a, like a proper plan for yourself. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Good luck. Thank you very much. Bye. Big Sisters, Sierra Leone, Season 2. No Woman, No Cry, proudly sponsored by Orange. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Rashida Tuyetuma Fumba. Rashida Tuyetuma. Yetuma, blessing Fumba. Hey, your name longer, <laughs> Rashida. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she that too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, who is Fomba? Fomba. And where are you from? Um, 
I'm from Tonda Hill. Tangai. Tonda Hill. Oh, Tonda Hill. Rashida, what do you want from the Big Sister Show? Well, I want everything. I want the happiness. I want the, the fame. I want the, the, the coming, everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah, that builds up the Big Sister Show. Why do you think you need the Big Sister Show? Because um, I want to be like, I want to be famous. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is a great platform for me to be famous. I want okay. to be a star, so I guess this will Do you think you can do. handle stardom? Mm, kind of. Yeah? I guess so, yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. we have over 800 applicants, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. So why should we choose you to go into the house? Because I have everything it takes. What are those things? My personality, my character, my style, everything that builds up our human. So it's tell me something about your personality. It's kind of unique. A very unique one, a God-fearing one. One that you would like when you get to know me the more. Okay. So describe yourself in three words. One, I'm wonderfully made by God. Two, that's I'm smart. Word. That's not a word. That's not a word. Three word. words. Three mm. words. Just three words. Wow. I'm beautiful, smart, elegant. Okay. okay. So Thank who you. was your favorite housemate? I'm um, Kula. Why Kula? Because she's relentless. Whatever they might say about her, she doesn't care at all. She just do what she likes and she likes what she does. Are you the kind of person who don't care at all? You just do what you want? Yeah. Okay. I really like your nail polish. <laughs> Thank you. You have an interesting voice. Thank okay. you. So um, when they said gender equality, what do you understand by that? Um, gender equality is like, he's a male, I'm a female. That's a gender base, you understand? Yeah. So like, equality means like, we're both on the equal side. So. You gotta treat me right, so likewise me. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to look down on me because I'm a female, and maybe you might think I'm weak because I'm a female. So you gotta treat me like we're equal. Like a person, not like a woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What would you say is your biggest weakness? Or what would your, what, how would your friends describe your biggest weakness, actually? What would they say? Lies. In a nice way. Lies are my biggest weakness. Like, when you lie to me, it makes me weak. It angers you? It upsets you? Like, if I trust you, I give you all my trust. I believe in you, and then you, you lied to me. Mm -hmm. You distrust yourself. You, you let me down. You know, it makes me weak. So what do you do to people that they see as, this is your flaws? I think that's what she's trying to get. Like, oh, what, is your, what, what are your flaws? Like, or what is your flaw? My flow is like, like um, I get anger too easily. Okay. Like, I become angry easily. Like, if you hurt me and then you say sorry, I let go. But if you don't, then it's, mm. I become aggravated. Mm. So. Okay, Rashida to Fumba. Happen to win the show, the Big Sister show, what do you intend to do with the money and the fame first, that you're going to get? Um, first of all, the first thing I want to do is that take my mommy to Maka. Okay. Because she has been yearning for that. So it has been in my heart always. So if I win and then I have the money, that's the first thing I will do. Okay. And then I'll take a bit and give to my church. And then the rest I'll just keep for my cause. For your cause? For my cause. What is your cause? Well, now I'm, I'm a nurse presently, but I want to go further it to pharmacist. OK. Yeah. So, um Rashida too, yeah. right? I just complimented your voice. I love your voice. It's so deep. Thank you. Do you get that compliment a lot? Thank you. Yeah. Nope. You don't? Oh, I'm the first. Yay. No, you're not the first. I'm not actually. the first. Yeah. Okay, but you have. Yeah. Okay. Right, and Rashida too, we're going to take a vote now. Right. So for me, um, what I like about you is the one thing you said, when you said you like Kula, and I asked you, you said about Kula, Kula does not care what people think about Kula. And that is actually true. And I ask you if you care what somebody thinks about you. And you don't really know what reaction you will get from me. She said yes or no. 
but you choose <laughs> to say no, you don't care. And I like the honesty in that. And I, I think you're a honest person, and I wish you the best of luck. I am definitely saying yes to you, because I think you might have what it takes to stand out in that house, yeah? Thank you very much. So I'm saying yes, good luck with the rest of the judges. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, I mean, I'm not quite sure what you, exactly what you want to do um, if you win. Um, so I, can I reserve my decision until the rest <laughs> oh, all right. okay. yeah. Thank you. I mean, Asa, you can go. Come on, you're always pushing. I'm so a bit confused because, like, from first impression, I would say no, you know. But you want to be famous, you want to be a star. What do you want to do? You well, just said you're a, a nurse. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I won't be like a nurse always. Maybe I want. I might want to switch over. To what? Maybe acting or dancing, whatever makes me happy and comfortable later on. But when we ask her what she's going to do with the money and the fame when she wins, she says she's going to do a pharmacy or going to come out to and then uh, help her mom. So it's like she wants to be famous on the show, but when she wins the money, or if she wins the money, she's doing something totally different. That's like my confusion. Do you get me? Um, can I say something? Yes. Maybe going on, mm. I might change my mind. I'm not being a pharmacist anymore. I might change my mind on becoming an actress or a dancer. Mm. So you're yeah. still uncertain. Okay. Do you like dancing? Do you like singing? Do you like yeah, dancing? I like dancing. You like dancing, yeah. yeah. So maybe you're looking for some inspiration, the opportunity to be inspired by your, the other women in the house, maybe. Mm. Yeah? If that makes any sense. Okay, I'm How old are you? Yes. I'm 24. Okay. It's a yes. So you have two yeses. You need one more yes, so maybe they can call you back. <laughs> Thank you. I think I agree with part two. Mm -hmm. I just don't um, get that vibe that, you know, so right. it might, it's, it's a no for me to. Thank you. Okay, so I'm someone who, I know what I want. And so if I was standing there, no matter what Juliet and Zena would be saying, I would stick to it. Like you said, you wanted to be a pharmacist. There's nothing wrong with it. So the fact that I was really rooting for you, but when you change, like, oh, I might change to be a pharmacist and go to that, it means you're not yeah. certain. Okay, well, like, you don't actually me. know what you want to do. So it's going to be a no for me. Sorry, but oh. it's a no. It's okay. Thank you. But it doesn't mean anything, now. Like, even yes, if I want to me, if I want to, it, like, what, what I wanted, because I, it, I actually wanted to say yes, to be honest with you. It's but okay. it's the fact that you couldn't stand on your stand, words yes, she had to words. convince you well, and she had to like she because she made some comment and you were like she, probably she trying to please her yeah. you said something different because there's nothing wrong with being a pharmacist i admire yeah, pharmacy yeah. we need them in our society yeah. so that's what i want to be i just need the fame from big sister yeah, being a reality yeah, tv famous show famous yeah. a famous, and then with him but yeah. that's that also thing was the thing that flipped it for me so better luck next time thank you you welcome. thank you very much Thank you. You can come again next time, yeah? Right. You can be famous. Bye -bye. You love to cool. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2. No Woman, No Cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. Hello. 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 You? you can you can sit down or you can sit up. Anyone you choose. Okay, it's not come before small. Yeah. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing Claudia. Johnson. Blessing Claudia Johnson, you know Creole? Yes. Who's party come on? Allen Street, number 12. Allen okay. Street, Model New Wood. Okay. Do you know how to speak English? Yeah. So you, a so little, a little bit. I can try it because it has been a long time when okay. I speak my words. So what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a student. Okay, where? In Oxodos College. Blessing, why do you want to be part of this show? The reason why I want to be part of this show because I know that it is a platform for me as a woman. You, you all give to me. And uh, 
it will build up my dreams and my vision to be a, a reality. What are your dreams and vision? Well, my dreams and vision is for me to help poor people, young, you, you, young people, youth like me, that are not have the ability to 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 have it to do okay. for their lives. Oh, that's fine. What dreams and vision do you have for yourself? Well, my vision is that my vision is that for me to to take care of to in life to take care of kids. No, yourself. Oh, yourself. for myself. For you. What do you want to do? Well, that's my career. I want to do. I want to open an orphanage to take care of kids. What do you do? I'm in college, I'm studying childhood, early childhood. Okay, well, this is confusing for me. Because when Zainab asked you if you know how to speak English, you said you didn't. You were like, you said you're yeah, flipping sometimes. through because you just sat your was years ago. Yeah, but now I you're just saying entered. You're, you're, you just entered? Yes. Oh, the university? Yes. Oh, okay. I just so entered. now I understand. Yes, I sat my was. When did you? When? I sat my was 2011. 2011. Yes. Oh. Now, yes. Is this yes. I think Why? Because of financial challenge. And you're studying what? Early childhood. Okay. So how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, what age are you? I'm 26. You're 26. I mean, it's really good that, I mean, I went to university when I was 30. So mm -hmm. it's never too late. So you should be proud of yourself. Yeah. So what does it mean to study early childhood? Well, it, go over it again, please. Wait, what does it mean to study? You said you're studying early childhood. childhood yes. What does that mean? Well, it means it's all about children. The, the way you take care of um, preschool, when you go to preschool, the way you handle children in the school, the way you encourage them. Because some children are, if you be in the preschool, some children are naughty. You should not be harsh. Out, you should not be harsh with them. You should comfort them, whether they are wrong, whether they are right. You need to encourage them so that they will do more. Okay. So, um, in the house, there are many tasks um, and activities that you will have to participate in. What's your greatest skill that you have to offer to the, the rest of the contestants? Well, <laughs> for now, the truth is that um, I can, I, I can, uh, when I was sitting at home, I can do makeup in, mm -hmm. this makeup fashion, mm -hmm. when I was at home. Yeah. But for now, I, have, I don't think that, but I would go with that in the house. Okay. Yes, and I have a lot, a lot more. Do you have any other special skills, talents? Yeah, I can um, sing, dance. Yeah. So you want to sing Anna, something? Anna, uh, you sing want to something. sing something for us? Yeah. Okay. Go. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. Too much, oh. Excess love, oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. So much your excess love, so much. You. Okay, thank you, bless you. Actually, have a very I'm in the choir. Ah, oh, that's why. So we're going to take a vote now, yeah. Um, let somebody. <laughs> I just feel like. Um, Like you're not ready yet? I'm ready. No, that's that's what I think and I feel like. I know, but if you give me the chance, I know that I can prove myself. Okay, so okay. it's going to be a no for me as well. well. Because it's like the same thing. I don't feel that you're ready. I feel like you have to just continue with you just started college, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just continue and start to learn something new and just get yourself ready and come next year. Yeah? that you've got so much potential and you have really big dreams but I think you need to kind of 
like try to find what they are a bit better um, and then that will help you to work towards those dreams so that you can then have so much to show when you come to the auditions next year. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so then you'll know what you're aiming for, you have more of a focus. Um, I think you're a beautiful singer and you're really calming when you mm -hmm. sing. Um, but I would like you to come back, I think we'd like you to come back again next year and decide what, exactly what you want and how you want to use the, the fame that will come to you if you enter the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then that will help you to come to the auditions and then show us everything you've got and just really own the audition, okay? So it's a no for me, for me but come back again. Thank you. Okay, blessing. Thank you very much. Right. Um, watch the show and see what you can learn from it, and yeah. come back for season three edition. I wish you good luck here. Yeah? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Big Sisters Sierra Leone season two. No woman, no cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? What's your name? My name is Amida Agata Parkinson. Amina Agatha Parkinson. Amida Agatha Parkinson. Yeah. You said from Creo? Yes, ma'am. When I want to get the game today. <laughs> like seriously? Now I'm so so with the CEO. Okay. As you know, my name is Amida Agatha Parkinson. Mm -hmm. I'm 24 years old. Okay. I'm a student. I have one kid. Mm -hmm. I came from an extended family. Mm -hmm. I've lost my mom and also my dad. But thank God, all, that is not all about life. Mm -hmm. So, I believe that's all about me. Okay. So what does Amida do for fun? Hmm? What, what does Amida, Amida is your name, right? Sure. What, yeah, what do you do for fun? For fun? Yeah, for fun, just for fun. Say, my enjoy, my party, what you can do? Dancing. Dance, ooh. Sabi dance? Sure. You can show me moves? <laughs> The music then I do. <laughs> so can I? Yeah, you can go ahead. I want to see. <laughs> I mean, that's what we call an ugly way, so. <laughs> come on, are you sure? An ugly boy. Like so that. Bad. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Baba. Uh -uh. Shake your tumba. Tumba. Uh -uh. Shake your tumba. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Hey. Will you do? Amida, yeah, Amida, oh. Amida, what do you do for a living? <laughs> for now, I'm a student. Okay. Mm. Who was your favorite from season one? China Nikki. Why? Because she was bold, outspoken, mm. and she was real in the house. That's why. If you win this money, $50,000, what would you do? First of all, I would give God the praise because he's the maker of life and it make it possible for me to win it. And secondly, I will take it to the bank Call two, three of my friends, seek advice from them. Then I will follow the next step. Okay. That's what I will do. Okay, I mean. How do you take care of your child? Take care of your student. My child is with my mom. Hmm? My stepmom. Oh, okay. Where's the father? Huh. Okay. Huh. He's on his own. Okay. <laughs> They're all on their own. I, mean, I, 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 I should just say, I mean, I can't like stand. very pathetic. No father. Like I can say, I send up a goodbye soul. You know, kite. I'm okay. sorry about that. Is that a responsible dad? You know, gangsta. Okay. No. I'm going to look like at the board buy. real quick and see what subjects you would like to talk <laughs> about. Um, pick a subject and write it on the whiteboard. It can be any of the subjects on the board, or you can choose a random subject from your head and write on the board. Amira is a, Amira is a Bible. <laughs> it's like, ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is this an angle by sore? <laughs> <coughs> what subject violence. is that? Violence. 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 Why violence? Like for example, our fathers and uncles who call themselves sugar daddies. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about violence, more extra strategies for them. Mm. Because I believe they are well responsible fathers mm -hmm. who have their wives and children at home. Why they are why they are misusing us with the young ladies? Mm. No use. They <laughs> think they marry the young women them, put them at the house. Mm. I believe it's not because of your love, I make you marry them. Mm -hmm. But still, mm. all the same. <laughs> I get a lot for deal with them. <laughs> I get small for deal with them, yeah. But when you said they are misusing us, um, like for example, 
-hmm. in terms of foreign um, material things like phone, mm -hmm. cars. Mm -hmm. They know that we young ladies coming up, we like foreign materials. Mm -hmm. And so they are using them to just get use of us and dump us like orange. But <laughs> Yeah, sure. But isn't it up to you, the woman, to decide if you want these things and what Sometimes you can do or take life, for them? Sometimes in life, decisions are, are not necessary. Um, because like for me, like I told you, I'm an orphan. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have any way to survive, mm -hmm. I just have to say, okay, let me give it, let me give it a try. Like to try and date somebody, maybe you can meet yes, somebody there. Uh, yes, somebody like sugar can take me to another level, sugar. Yeah. not like misusing me. Yes, you can date a sugar daddy, but some bring values to your life. Okay. Oh, okay. Val val values like, if we actually said, what do you want to achieve in the next two or three years? Someone that can tell you that, hey, Amida, I want you to attend this computer class, or I want you to attend this university from now to so, so, so. I believe you have um, your last results. Come with it, let me see it. But no, the sugar that is nowadays, the first thing they know, meet me at five five star hotel <laughs> okay. this is my contact amida i'm a bit confused because Why? you wrote violence on the board so i want to know the connection how does violence connect with the sugar daddy <laughs> yeah like misusing <laughs> women so i i can't see the connection so can you help me with that why i say sugar daddy because these sugar daddies are the one that is the are the, they are the one that are misusing us in what way in what way that let because we're talking about violence here. You said violence, and then you said sugar daddy. In terms of you. using us through sexing, mm. beating, whatever way. Beating but that, though, that is consensual. Because yes. if you are an adult, you're 24 years old, right? Sure. You're considered an adult in Sierra Leone. The moment you're 18, you're considered an adult. And if you are an adult, and you give consent to another adult to have sex with you in return for whatever gift that it's you think violence. you might get. It's not that bad because you're making, you're making the conscious decision. Sometimes it's bad because mm. I believe... No, I, what I mean, what like I mean it's, it's not, not bad. Violence. It's not against the law. It's not violent. I Why mean, I you thought you that? were trying to talk about uh, them taking advantage or no. like sexual violence and something like that. I thought that was the idea that you were talking about. Was that it? Sure. The sexual violence? Yes, the se sexual way. Okay. okay. I mean, she's in us too. Sex. Uh, okay. Then when you tell them that we are pregnant, they, they say do abortion. Okay. What is the use of you okay. sleeping with me? I mean that we're going to take a vote now. I'm okay. going to start. Um, I think what you're trying to say, um, free will play a really big role okay. in life. Like if you meet a man, they have the world to give to you. They want to have sex with you. You can say no or you can say yes. Okay. I think um, you are not so. You are not very good at being decisive. Because even when you're asked what you will do with the 50 million if you win, the 500,000 um, dollars, $50, you said you'll put it in the bank and ask your friend to decide yeah, for you. So you you're not very good at deciding what to no, do. No, I said that we asked them for two, three opinions, then later go to the bank and collect it. But again. what if they mislead you? Will you take their advice and say it's violence? No. Why I said that we seek for the advice? Maybe one or two friends can tell you the right thing to do with the money. Why is others come? Mm. But, okay. but they have their drinks. Um, we're going to take a vote now. Um, I personally don't like to say no to people okay. because I'm very big at giving people chance and I'm very good at seeing potential. But I think for you, the main thing is you're not very sure yet of things. Yeah, your answers. I don't know, the other judges can, can decide otherwise. But for me, I am saying no because you really don't even know what you want to do. If you win with the money, you still need to ask people what to do with it, you know. And when it comes to men and giving phones and all of these things, these are things that affect us. But most time, women have to decide what they want and what they're willing to give for it, mm -hmm. you know. So I will say no on this one because I feel you're very unsure. But I will encourage you to look at the show and see what you can get out of that. But you have four more judges. So, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. We, uh, actually, um, the topic that I want to talk on is not on the board, so that's why I choose violence. But we ask you to choose yeah, anything. No, now. there is no topic there. The one that I want to. What do you want on. to talk about? I want to talk about non-communicable diseases. Honestly. Well, okay. What is non-communicable diseases? Like, for example, diseases like um, stroke, mm -hmm. hypertension, pressure, mm -hmm. 
What is it about them that you want to talk about today? Like, if you have stroke, it doesn't mean that it's the end of your life. They need to encourage you, care about you. Because with their caring, we make it in life. Okay. So the other judges can vote? Yes, let's vote, please. Yes. Oh, for me, it's a no. It's, it's a, a no problem. problem. It's a no for me, too. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. Okay, thank you very much. I am sorry, Amida. Really, I will really like, because you have the energy, I really like for you to watch the show and see what you can learn from it and come next season prepared. Thank of course, you. next season will be bigger and better. Sure. Yeah? Thanks. Thank you very much. Don't lose this. This is not yeah? all of our life. No, no, it is. But yeah. be bigger thing than more than this big sister. Yeah. By the grace That's of Allah, true. yeah? Thank you yeah. very much. Okay, yeah. my Bye. sister. Big sister Sierra Leone season. So vote your favorite contestant into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Orange has made it as simple as possible for you and me. They have come with the bulk SMS voting system. All you have to do is dial star 2020 hash. Options will be provided to you. Choose any one of those options to vote for your favorite contestant and send the number of your favorite contestant. For example, if your favorite contestant is contestant number one, make sure you dial 001 and press send. Contestant number five, make sure you dial 025 and send. If your contestant is contestant number 100, you dial 100 and press send. Remember, only your vote can put your favorite into the house. So keep voting, don't stop voting until your favorite makes it into the house. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2, No Woman No Cry. So vote your favorite contestant into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Orange has made it as simple as possible for you and me. They have come with the bulk SMS voting system. All you have to do is dial star 2020 hash. Options will be provided to you. Choose any one of those options to vote for your favorite contestant and send the number of your favorite contestant. For example, if your favorite contestant is contestant number one, make sure you dial 001 and press send. Contestant number five, make sure you dial 025 and send. If your contestant is contestant number 100, you dial 100 and press send. Remember, only your vote can put your favorite into the house. So keep voting, don't stop voting until your favorite makes it into the house. Big Sisters Sierra Leone Season 2, No Woman No Cry. Leon season two, no woman, no cry. Proudly sponsored by Orange. Oh, I know this way. Hello. Hello. You Hello. were here last year. <laughs> yes, I was. And you auditioned. You didn't make it, and you're back. I yes. really like your kind of person. Thank you. You should keep trying, yeah. That's yeah. True. So what's your name again? I don't remember your name. I said to Kaiwa, the eye of Kono. Eh, na ina di Kono iyai. Where you go do? So I said, why are you back? Yes, I am back because. Last year, I tried for it, and it was not successful for me. So eventually, I came back to get a try. So why were you not selected last year? Maybe I did not put up my best performance. Maybe. <laughs> they didn't tell you why? No, I was called that I was shortlisted. Mm -hmm. And later, they say, OK, if we call you back, you are part of them. If you, we didn't call you back, know mm -hmm. that you're not part of them. So what do you think you're bringing today that is different from what you brought last year? Oh, um, always I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm this kind of person that loves singing, mm -hmm. so I brought up the same thing. Mm. Yeah. So I write what, my what, what do you think is special about you? Why should we shortlist you again today? Okay, mm. one thing that is special about me, I'm this kind of person that is humanitarian. I have a humanitarian feeling for anybody around me. Mm. The little I have, I'll give, definitely. Is that all? No. And also... I am outspoken, I am brilliant, I have confidence in whatever I'm saying. So I believe that this time around is my time. Mm -hmm. Wait, what would you like to do um, if you win, if you get to, through to the house and then you win? You said that you're humanitarian, that you also sing. Yeah. So do you want to do all of these things? Or? First of all, I have, I have three things in mind. Mm -hmm. They say charity begins at home. Yeah. Since I lost my mom last year, my younger siblings have been there, I've been mm -hmm. there for them, like always. 
So this is a big opportunity for them. If, if I don't give them the best life, but try to give them something they will appreciate. Secondly, I'll try to put up a structure where women, like a, a, a vocational institution, where women will be going, learning, learn garatidine, tailoring, etc. And thirdly, I promise that I'll give five percent back to big five percent back to big sister. If I win, I'll give five percent back to big sister of what I'm going to hand. Why would you want to give five percent to the big sister? Because is that what my heart chose to give? Okay. I right, said, so to what number were you the last time when number you auditioned? Okay, I thought you were number one, because I remember you were the first Yeah, team. I was the first one that came, but I, I decided to choose number two. Ah, okay. Okay, great. I said, so what has changed? Change in what sense? From 2018, when I see you, to now, 2020. Has anything changed? <laughs> yeah, something has changed. Like, I've, I've tried hard to put myself together, like, to build myself, like, to say, yes, I need this. I need something for myself. Because... When, before my mother died, I was like relaxed, depending on my mom. But since my mom died, I was like, yeah, I need to pick up space. I need to, to get up from my comfort zone and be who I want to be. Who do you want to be? As somebody that society will look up to. What kind of somebody is that As somebody person? that will give back to Sierra Leone. A strong woman that is ready to give back to Sierra Leone. Okay. You said so, I right? Yes. I Kaiwa, the eye of Kono. <laughs> oh, the eye of Kono. You call that one? <laughs> I I like money. So uh, I, I see that you have a very strong personality, you're strong, yeah. like your confidence in yourself and your, what you're saying and you're very determined to make it into the house. Yeah. Let's just say you make it into the house. What kind of, you know we have different personalities, right? Yeah. Would that you go for good visa? Would that, would that not I said, would that way they find plaba, would that way they settle the plaba, or do I way just the normal for true call man? Just one thing about it. The first of all, the thing about it. This is entertainment. Why right? we want somebody that is entertaining, not just somebody. Definitely, I'm. Um, so definitely, you they go be inside that house, the man. Me and that person were entertaining. Definitely, okay. if they are inside five minutes, everybody don't like me. Everybody don't like you. Everybody don't like me. Trust me. So I don't like you right now. I know you like me. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said you wanted to. You brought a song to sing. Yeah. Um, so let's hear it. You have one minute. Okay. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. You know you're strong and beautiful. And you're here to rule the world. You're here to do your duties, yeah. And you're here to do it all. No more using, no abusing, no more. No more crying, no suffering, no more. Make them all use you for small thing at all. Oh. <laughs> you go be the woman when we nation is up. Cause you got a heart of a lion. So strong like a iron. Baby, you match from Mount Zion. So baby, just focus. No woman, no cry. Whoa. Whoa. No woman, no cry. I know the No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Yeah, yeah. Kaiwa, Kaiwa, thank you very, very, very much. Did you sing the last time? Yes, I sang, yeah. Okay, okay Kaiwa, your voice is very good. Did you write the song? Yes, I did it for myself. It's very good. I like the lyrics. Thank you. Maybe you okay. should get it for the official I know, right? Yeah. I know. It's very good, actually. Very should we take a vote now? Yes, please. Um, Kaiwa, yeah. I'm saying yes to you because I like people who are perseverance. Thank you. I'm the kind of person I'm very obsessive. If I try something I don't get, I would try, I would try to oh man will gain. So I'm so good. I say, yeah, take and go. So I like the fact that you're here again. Thank you. And you didn't just come, you come strong. Yes. You definitely. write your song, yes. you are happy. And I like that. So I'm saying definitely I'm saying yes to you. Good luck with some of your judges. Um, I didn't have the pleasure of meeting you last year, so I didn't have anything to compare you to, but I am blown in your way, so it's a big fat yes. Thank you. I think I'll give you a yes too, because I Come feel like thank you deserve you a second so chance. Much. We all deserve a second chance. This is your second chance. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, for you. Thank you, Juliet. It's a juicy, icy. Thank you, yes. I mean, that's a <laughs> Which means we might call you back. It's not a yes to go in the house, but it means we'll consider you and we might call you back. Thank yeah? you so much. You're welcome. But Can I Next go? Next question, yeah. Next. Next. No, you go this way. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you.
For vote your favorite contestant into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Orange don't make it simple for you. Then don't come with the bulk SMS voting system. All you get for do, dial star 2020 ash. It will provide you with many options. Choose one of the options, any of the options in fact, and send the number of your favorite contestant. Remember all, na three digits you will be able to use for vote for your contestants. For example, if your contestant na contestant number one, make sure somewhere you vote for them, you dial 001. If na contestant 25, you dial 025. If na contestant 76, you dial 076 and press send. So, remember all, na only you vote to be able to put your favorite into the Big Sister Season 2 house. Big Sister Sierra Leone Season 2. No woman, no cry. Sierra Leone Season 2 No Woman No Cry on SLBC Entertainment. This is SLBC Entertainment.